What is up guys and girls, my name is YDH, today we're going to be continuing to talk about possible leaks within Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Zombies and I'm just going to start off by saying if you're an Ascension fan or in fact a Thundergun fan, you're going to be very excited by this video indeed. But of course, take this information lightly, it's by no means confirmed, but it is very, like I said, exciting if you are a fan of either of, the two, of these two things. So let's get straight into the information, what exactly has been found, well to summarize it, a lot of world at war style weapons and some crazy crazy wonder weapons that have been found in the scene of the code now let's start off by saying the thundergun mark underscore ii has been found in the zombies code as well as the wave gun now let's start off by talking about the thundergun mark 2 we've never heard of the thundergun mark 2 before i have no idea what this could mean are they just saying the fact that maybe we say for example we get ascension and we get the newer version of the thundergun it might not be a different variation but it might just be like the next gen version so they're saying mark 2 in terms of yeah it's the next generation version of the thundergun a bit like the wonder Wolf. so I don't know what they mean by that, but me being a huge fan of the Thunder Gun, just being able to blast zombies away like that is just so satisfactory. And I honestly am a huge fan of Ascension as well. And every time we get another hint like this towards there being a possible remake, I just get so ecstatic. So the next thing I want to talk about is the Wave Gun. Now, this has by no means caught me by surprise. We've already seen a lot of, let's say, legitimate information regarding the Wave Gun, especially with blueprints on Combine and the giant loading screen which is very very interesting and once again like i'm saying just all gathering hints towards these possible remade maps we could say thunder gun okay we could link that to ascension wave gun we can link that to moon so straight away we're already starting to see the dust settle a bit it's getting a lot clearer but you know we can't at any point say that this is confirmed we just have to hope it is but we also have information regarding the galil and the xr2 now if you guys tuned into the dice summit presentation earlier on in the year way before black ops 3 zombies reveal trailer came out you will notice that there was a picture from the giant now that picture was of a chalk drawing of a gun that was in fact the xr2 and we now know that the xr2 was never featured on the giant or featured in zombies and it's still in the code so does this mean that we could be seeing the xr2 in zombies well to be honest i'm not really a huge fan of the xr2 anyway it wouldn't really bother me but if they're going to add more variation to zombies then i don't i don't see why not so that's very interesting they might have just decided that they wanted to take it out but we'll have to wait and see now the last thing i want to leave you guys here with is the fact that the stg44 was not only found in zombies coding but also for multiplayer and it's kind of like advanced warfare if we saw some new guns come to the scene especially with the stg that's going to bring back a very good nostalgia feeling and certainly we saw in origins it did a very good job in there so stg was in origins possible hint for origins i don't know it's very hard to say at the moment you can't just say oh there's an stg on origins so confirmed origins remake we just got to gather information put it all in one corner and look at it as a whole so you know, every bit of information that we do get, it's very good. It's counting up those chances. So that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about here today. Obviously, that is quite a lot of information just in a small amount of code. Very, very exciting indeed. But I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about this. Thank you very much for tuning in. I have been your daily host. And if you could leave this video a like and subscribe here, if you're new, that would be greatly appreciated. So make sure you have a fantastic day. And I will, of course, see you next time. Goodbye.